Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel Coders Lobby. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can do the VLOOKUP using LinkU. Same like the Excel VLOOKUP, we'll, uh, we'll try to implement the lookup in uh, UI path using LinkU. So uh, here we are not going to use any formula and all like Excel. So Excel we have to do some formula to get the lookup value but using link we do not have to use any formula and all. So let me first show you what the input we are going to use in this example. So here in the sheet one you can see some of the SQ name we are having like rust, papers and snacking. And in the sheet two uh, this data we are using as a master data where we are having the SQ name with the SQ code. So what we want is we want this SQ code for this SQ name. So how we can get this in excel we can do the vlookup formula and we can get the sq code over here so now let's see how we can get the sq code for this sq name in the ui path so let's start okay first of all what we have to do is we have to read that excel file for that we'll have to read both the sheets okay is those activities are not visible over here so we'll have to check the classic activity application scope okay here we'll have to pass the file path okay let's pass the file path over here done now we'll use the read range activity to read that sheets read range we'll use excel activities and sheet 2 ok in the sheet 1 the variable would be data 1 in the sheet 2 the variable would be data 2 and for the output we'll have to create one data table so let's use the build data table activity we'll use build data table activity here what the first column would be the first column would be the sku name okay and the second column would be sku code okay done and let's pass the data table over here dt result okay now let's take one assign activity over there we will write our link keyboard here we will pass the data table and over here let's type the code from from row one in data table one dot as enumerable okay and let's create one variable variable name would be check dt2 dot as enumerable dot where function of r2 okay r2 of 0 dot to string dot trim dot equals Okay, here we will pass the same thing this thing till trim and we'll replace the row 2 with row 1 done at the end dot to list okay now create one more variable for let's create the variable name as the c2 okay so here we will implement one if condition in the if condition we will check dot count greater than zero if greater than zero what we want is we want the check check of zero of one okay so this is done again now let's create one more variable for the new row so it would be array here we want the r1 of 0th value and comma c2 okay now let's select dt result dot 
add data result dot rows rows dot add okay in the add we will pass r a okay at the end dot copy to data table okay so let's see what the error is if it's showing error in if okay so we want not okay so our query is done let's click okay this is done now we want to write the same thing sorry we our result in the excel file so for that we will write the result in the same file using the right range activity so for that we will use excel activity and the data table would be dt result let's check the header okay done now let's debug the code and just wait for a moment okay so as you can see the execution has been done and let's open the file okay where it wrote that okay let's copy this and go here and paste it over here okay so we have wrote in sheet 1 let's write it in sheet 3 okay and let's remove this from sheet 1 and sheet 2 is a master data let's save it and let it be open now again we'll debug it and you will see one more sheet will get added over here with the sheet name 3 okay so you can see the sheet 3 has been added and we got the sq name with the sku code in our sheet 1 so you can see for this sq name we are having the sq code so this is how we can do the lookup in uipath using link so i hope the example is clear for you so if it is the case Please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so whenever we will upload our new videos to our channel you will get the notification first. So we will meet in our next video till the time bye bye.